What is up, everybody? I'm Moritz. I'm a Shopify developer from Germany. And a couple days ago, I stumbled across this banging section right here. It goes on the product page of this one right here. It's called Rich. And as you can see right here, we have those lovely looking product videos underneath the actual product description itself, or it's included. Depends how you want to place it, actually. And I'm going to show you how you can recreate this whole thing. I'm just going to show you real quick what we are going to do today. So this is one little example of the section I've been using for this. So if you click on it, you can also include it in a modal right here. And yeah, let's just get right into it and I'll show you how you can customize it, include it in your store. And yeah, let's get started. So the first thing I did for this is that I added an over to the Shopify app store where I did get the section store app. It's a component library with over 300 fully customizable Shopify exclusive components. And the one we are going to be having a look at today and the one I also used is the product videos too. That's the one you just saw already. So the inspiration I got from the other store, like I told you already to get this, it's going to be a one-time charge of $9. That means if you bought it once, you also own it forever. You're not going to need an expensive developer to custom code that for you. And yeah, you can just change it anytime. So it's a big money saver as well. All right, after successfully getting the section, head back to the My Sections area of the app, where you can find a collection of all the sections you are owning. And the last thing you want to do to actually being able to use it is to add it to the theme you're using. In my case, it is the Dawn Life theme, but it does work on every theme. So don't worry about that. Then simply just open up the theme editor right here. So yeah, here we are inside the theme editor. And now I'm just gonna go to one of my default products where I'm gonna show you how you can use the sectioner. Just scroll all the way down, click on add section, type in product videos. That is the one product videos two, the one we just got from the store and we wanna have it below the buy buttons. I do think it's a nice position for that. Always make sure to save it up so you don't run into any unwanted errors. And here you can already see the four default products we have right here. I'm just gonna fill those with content real quick. So just gonna select the video on one of the blocks right here. It's all generic video, so don't worry about that. But I just wanna show you how it's done. You can even select the video thumbnail, but I'm gonna skip this one for now and add four more, actually three. So it's four in total. Get another one going right here. And the last one is going to be that one. Let's save it up and have a look at it. If it all got implemented correctly. So here we can already see the four videos. And now I want to show you some other stuff we can do. So if you click on one of them, this model is going to open up. And as you can see right here, this is working perfectly fine already. But now I want to do some customizations to the whole thing itself. So one thing I could do is add a headline to the whole thing. So if I save it up again, just make sure to save it up so you can see the changes you've actually done. You see this little headline right here. You can use a custom font, heading size, where it's going to be positioned. Of course, the whole thing is fully responsive. So in mobile, I do think it looks even nicer than it does on desktop. So especially for mobile, I do think it looks really, really nice. And I mean, most of the traffic you're going to get on your website is going to be from people using smartphones. So that is definitely a plus for that. We can decide how much padding there is going to be between and a bunch of other things. If there's going to be a little shadow, slide hover effect. And if you keep scrolling down, you're going to notice there are a lot of things you can customize with this whole thing. Even everything inside the modal is fully customizable. So if you set that a little bit higher, the images inside and the videos inside the modal are going to be a lot bigger, model close size. And yeah, bunch of other things like all the colors you can pretty much change off the slides, off the backgrounds. But yeah, just wanted to give you a, a quick overview of how this whole section works. And at the end of the day, you want to customize it to your likings. Let's just have one final look inside the live editor, sorry, live version of your store. And you can already see the four videos we included. So let's just click on one and see if it's actually working in live as well. And this is looking perfectly fine. And I do think it's a really nice way to enhance your product page. And yeah, with that being said, have a good one, guys, and peace out. And I hope you like this.